Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I sit here in front of you barefaced. The reason being, as you probably know from this title, is today I'm gonna to talk to you about my journey with adult acne. <laughs> so I've been struggling with acne now for over a year. Throughout my teens, I didn't have any acne, very, very little spots. Even when I was 19, 20, 21, I didn't really deal with a whole lot of acne except if I would change my actual location in Canada. If I moved to a drier province, my skin would obviously get dry. If I moved to a more humid province, my skin would be a little bit more dewy and glowy, you know what I'm saying? So I would just change my routine up a little bit and I would be able to correct that. But since I've moved back to Vancouver this time, my skin just went crazy. I feel like I've been struggling so much with this weird type of acne. It's not weird, but to me it was weird because I was like, nothing that I'm doing is helping. I had all these little bumps and as many of you know, I have fungal acne. I did a video, I think it was my nighttime skin routine and I talked a lot about my fungal acne. So the way that I figured out that that was the type of acne that I had was I was using this product that had sulfur, sulfate? Sulfur in it. And Sam and I had been trying to brainstorm why my skin was doing this, why it was being so crazy. And uh, her little brain was like, dee, dee, dee. not little, it's very big. Her brain was like, dee, 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 dee. and she figured out that the sulfur was the only thing that was helping because I have fungal acne. And so since then, that was about four or five months ago, I've been trying to combat my fungal acne and I did a lot of research on it, probably not as much as I should have, but I was doing a lot of research on it and I realized that a lot of the creams that I was using and stuff like that actually feed fungal acne because what it is, oh grunt, he wants to be a part of the video. So it would seem that a lot of the creams that I was using fed on fungal acne. And so what fungal acne is, is it's the yeast always lives on your face, but what can happen is there can be an overgrowth of yeast on your face just from environmental factors, things that you're doing, just so many things that can cause an overgrowth of yeast. And then that will be on your skin and turn into these little beautiful bumps that are all over your face. And they are so itchy, not all the time in my experience, but usually like late at night for some reason or like early in the morning, kind of like a sickness, like a cold is when it's worse. And it's like so itchy. I get them especially around my chin here. And it started predominantly over on this side of my face. And now it's kind of like creeping over here and moving up into this area here. I'm so sorry that I look disheveled, but I really wanted to show you my whole situation here. And then also I'm gonna go work out after so I didn't wash my hair and I tried to put dry shampoo in it, but like. So my acne started climbing up here and I wasn't having any luck with the products that I was using. So I'll kind of go through the products that I was using that weren't working for me and then move into like what my plan of action is now. So my skin's been pretty bad for, like I said, about a year and a half. But even during that time, I found some things started working for me. So I really loved this Glam Glow Focus, this Glam Glow Super Cleanse Mud. I felt like it was working really well for me. When I was in Paris, I felt like my skin was really good. I didn't have any of this situation because I wasn't picking. It's so satisfying to squeeze, I dropped that, to squeeze out what is inside of the little, I don't even know what to call them because it's not even like, bacterial acne where it's like a whitehead, they're just there and they have stuff in them and it's so easy to get it out. But when you squeeze it and get it out, it spreads and it gets so much worse. So it's do not squeeze your fungal acne, please. <laughs> this will happen to you. So I didn't have any of this stuff. I was using that product and it was working really well for me. And then all of a sudden it just stopped working. And I was like, okay, I need to figure out something else. So I made that video, my nighttime skin routine video, and some people on there were suggesting Nizoral or Nizoral. So I picked up this product, yoink, from Amazon. So it's this pink liquid and it's actually an anti-dandruff shampoo, but it kills the yeast or the fungus, I guess, that causes fungal acne. And I started using that, I think every single day. And this was like months ago, if you guys remember that video. And it really, really dried my skin out. And I started to get these like flaky patches all over and it wasn't actually helping the acne at all. I didn't feel like my, my fungal acne was going away even in the slightest. So I was like, okay, so all this is doing is like ruining the balance of my skin on my face. So I stopped using that altogether. And I went to Edmonton over the holidays to visit my girlfriend in 
Edmonton and my skin started clearing up like crazy. I had these like bacterial acne. They went away immediately, not immediately, but pretty quickly. My fungal acne I felt like was starting to like seize up and die. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. So I do think that it's the environment that I'm living in, not the house, but like Vancouver in general because it's so humid and I was ecstatic I realized like none of the products that I was using that were like really expensive and like from Sephora or whatever Were working. So I decided to try to use something Just basic so I ended up going to Walmart and I picked up this clean and clear deep action cream cleanser And I was like, let's try this out man. It's oil free I don't know if it's going to work but the girl that I visited, my, my girlfriend, she said that her husband uses this and loves it. And I was like, you know what? I'm willing to try anything at this, this point. And oh my God, like my eyes are watering just thinking about it. My face broke out like it's never broken out before. I'm gonna insert a video so that you can see what my skin looked like after a week of using this product. I don't know if other people have a good experience using this product, but it fucked my shit up. I've never had acne that went all the way up my cheeks. Even the fungal acne, it was kind of like I could get away with it if I was wearing makeup. Man, that, oh, I feel like, I wonder if you can still see, the redness is still there. It never went away, but the actual bumps have gone down, but I'm almost wondering if I'm gonna have to deal with the scarring from that. It's absolutely crazy. I didn't pick at them at all, but that redness is just not going away. I could not believe how much this shit fucked up my skin. I have sensitive skin. Maybe it was just too like harsh for my skin, but damn dude, personally, I don't re recommend this specific product. I haven't tried any of the other, other clean and clear products yet, but I'm not fucking with this shit ever again. Anyway, I went home for the holidays and my brother had struggled with acne in his teens. He had struggled, so I was like, dude, I need your help. Like I showed him the video because I was wearing makeup and I, <laughs> I can cover my acne pretty well. I showed him the video and he was like, oh wow, yeah, okay. And he suggested, this is still wet because I just took a shower, even though it looks like I haven't showered. He suggested I use Cetaphil. And he's been using this, I remember seeing it in our shower growing up. He's been using this for like, I feel like over 10 years and his skin looks really, really good right now. So I started using this Cetaphil cleanser and I really, really believe in this cleanser. I know that it's not getting rid of my fungal acne because it just won't. You need like an actual product to get rid of your fungal acne, unfortunately. But I just feel like it, it really calmed down all of the damage that that Clean and Clear product did to it. I think I'm gonna stick with Cetaphil probably like I can't see why I would change it up because I feel like even though I'm still getting, like I'm almost like growing these planets on my forehead. You can see this one. This situation was like a, I feel like it was like cystic acne. And then this one was just growing, but I ended up putting that sulfur mask on it last night and it really, really took it down. But that, those are the only new breakouts that I'm getting using this Cetaphil cleanser. And I assume that I would be getting them anyway. So I'll keep you guys updated, but Honestly, I'm kind of in this like thought process of maybe less is more when it comes to our skin. And I feel like by putting all of these products continuously on our skin, we have to like counterbalance. I don't know, I'm not a dermatologist, but when I was in Central America, when I was traveling, yes, I was in salt water a lot. And yes, I was in the sun a lot. So my skin was probably like in the best environment and I wasn't wearing any makeup. But when I came back, my skin has never looked better than that. And I wasn't really washing my face at all. I was just washing my face with like cold water. I don't even think I use soap to be honest with you. I think I was literally just taking showers and they didn't have uh, warm, warm running water there. So I literally was just washing my face with water and my skin was doing so phenomenally. The only time that I had a breakout was when I caught uh, food poisoning and I slept on the floor that night and there were like cockroaches all over the floor and stuff. And then I got like two huge like cystic acne spots uh, on my forehead. But other than that, I didn't have one breakout in the six weeks that I was there. So I'm kind of like feeling this like natural vibe once I deal with this shit. So anyway, I'm using Cetaphil right now, loving it. I recommend it, honestly. It's super cheap. You can get it from like Costco. You can get it from Walmart, like literally anywhere. And then I rediscovered my Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. Anyway, you guys get the picture. I can't get that to focus. So I rediscovered this TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. It's an AHA BHA blend. And this person that I was watching on YouTube really recommended a BHA for fungal acne. So I started reusing this and I do feel like it's making a huge difference 
in uh, the the raisedness of my acne, if that makes sense. And I feel like the rest of my skin is, is doing a lot better since using this. So I do actually recommend this product. I've been using it for a long time. Uh, and then I kind of took some time off once I was trying to really deal with this fungal acne situation but I really believe in this product, so I'm gonna continue using this when I'm not using my Nizoral or Nizoral or whatever you, however you say it, because they both will dry out your skin. The other thing that people were recommending that I was using uh, not too long ago was the Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 10% from The Ordinary. So that's it there. I really like this product as well. I felt like it was really working for my bacterial acne when I would have like those whitehead situations and stuff. I don't know that I feel like it works for my fungal acne, but that's where I, I found it recently. And they said that it was it was good for fungal acne. So I might do like a one night off one, you know, a, like a switcheroo situation, or I might do like one week of this and then one week of this just to see like what's helping. But this is something that was recommended as well. The other thing that I found that was really interesting was people were saying to use aloe vera on your face. Not like aloe vera gel, but like legit real aloe vera. <laughs> so I went out and I bought an aloe plant. And before you guys get worried, I know that this is extremely toxic for Grunt, my cat. So this lives in a completely different house basically because Sam and I live in, like we have completely separate entrance entrances to our house. So this is living up in Sam's portion of the house. Uh, so Grunt cannot get to it. It's in this room where Grunt is not right now. And then I'm gonna bring it right back upstairs. Uh, so he won't get sick. I did cut off this little pore stem and I do feel kind of bad like murdering this plant but you're dying for a good cause. I cut off a little stem of this and then I wrap it in saran wrap and put it in the fridge and then I'm just taking the tiniest amount, not really the tiniest amount, I'm kind of slathering it on and uh, putting it all over my face. It smells fucked up. I don't like the smell of it but I'm really hopeful. When I used this other product, it had retinol in it. I don't know if you guys remember if you've been following me for that long, but my face was jacked up. It was literally like I had like the worst allergic reaction, but I think that it was just my skin is very sensitive and I put that shit all over my face after never using retinol before. The only thing that stopped my face from like burning and like being puffy was I took a snip from Sam's aloe vera plant and I just slathered it on my face all throughout the day and it like was the only thing that really gave me relief. So I do believe in fresh aloe vera. So I'm like, I mean, I'll give it a shot. And I think that the reason people were saying that is because like fungal acne eats glycerin, probably other things. <laughs> like I said, I should have done more research on it, but aloe vera, I guess, is a good moisturizing product to use to not continue your fungal acne, I guess, because the Nizoral will dry out your skin because all of this shit will dry out your skin. You need to replenish the moisture and do it in a way that isn't going to like be a breeding ground for your <laughs> fungal acne. And so I'm using that now. I used it last night and this morning. So I'll keep you guys posted on how that's going. I really did go crazy. I bought a silk pillowcase from Sephora. Like I'm literally throwing the kitchen sink at my face right now because I'm just like, what, what will stop this? It's. <sighs> anyway, I bought a silk pillowcase and then I also made another big order from The Ordinary. So I know, <laughs> I guess I totally forgot this, but I know that I said I was going to keep using this Cetaphil cleanser. However, when I was watching this woman from the UK and I wish that I had saved the video so that I could tell you guys who it was, but she said that she actually reached out to the Abnormal Beauty Company and they gave her advice on what to do for her fungal acne. And I thought that that was really cool because Oftentimes like companies won't get back to people and it's not like she is like a, hu a huge account on YouTube or anything. I think she had 11,000 subscribers, which is obviously more than me, but not somebody where they would obviously like Google immediately and be like, oh, we should get back to her. So I thought that was really, really cool. And their products are super cheap, which I think is like obviously really cool too, which also makes me mad because it's like, okay, so if you are able to sell this for $7 and this other brand is selling it for 50, Fuck you other brands. I did order the uh, Ordinary Squalene Cleanser in the 50 ml uh, bottle. So that was $7.90 Canadian. And apparently squalene, whatever that is, it's like a plant derivative or something, but apparently it's good for fungal acne and it's a really gentle cleanser. So I ordered that cleanser to hopefully help aid in this situation. And then I'll go back to my Cetaphil if it's not working or whatever, but we'll see. I don't know. 
This might be my new cleanser, not sure. It's also a makeup remover, which is really cool. It's like one of those ones that turns from a, uh, like a solid to an oil, apparently. I'm really excited to receive it. I don't have it yet, I wish I did. Then I ordered the 100% plant-derived squalene oil. I ordered that, it's in a little tincture bottle, and uh, apparently it's supposed to replenish the moisture in your face as well, similar to the aloe vera plant, because obviously, things are drying out your face, you wanna replenish the moisture. So I'm gonna use the aloe vera for a couple weeks, see how it's going, but I did order this squalene mixture shit just in case this doesn't work because like I said, I'm literally like throwing the kitchen sink at this, so I wanna be prepared. Okay, I don't wanna mess around anymore. Then I ordered the Ordinary 100% Cold Press Virgin Marula Oil. I ordered that for after my skin is cleared of this fungal acne situation because when I was watching, I thought that it was gonna take like so long to get rid of this acne. But when I was watching these people who had struggled with this on YouTube, they said that theirs cleared up in like three to four days, a week, two weeks. So I'm like, okay, so if I literally just do everything that I'm supposed to do, this could clear up in the next couple of weeks. So I ordered this Marula oil to really like replenish the moisture after I get rid of all of the, the little fungi. The little, the little fungi. Then I ordered rosehip oil. I don't know why. I just, I hear people talking about rosehip all the time and I'm like, I could have some rosehip in my life. Why not? So anyway, you guys, <laughs> those are all the products that I'm excited to try or have tried for my fungal acne. I am feeling pretty down about my skin, I will say. I think that it's really hard to stay positive when every day you wake up and you look in the mirror and there's either new spots or the spots that you are treating are just not going away. It's really hard to not pick at it because I feel like as humans, we want to progress things that we don't like. And so we're like, okay, if I can just get all of this goop out, then my skin will be clear. And uh, obviously that's just putting me in a backwards, it's moving me in the wrong direction. So I've been feeling pretty embarrassed about my skin. You don't have to feel embarrassed about acne. I know that. And I feel like I'm a pretty confident person in general, but this is something, it's like, it's my face. Right, and anybody who struggles with acne, I feel like can relate to that. And I'm here to say that I am struggling too. And I wanted to be really open and honest with you guys because a lot of people were saying on like my Instagram lives and stuff like that, that I have like skin goals and that they love my skin. And I don't ever wanna be disingenuous, definitely not on purpose, but even uh, even like not, not on purpose. <laughs> oh my God, why are words so hard today? But I just wanna be authentic with you guys and let you know that, I mean, makeup really does, man, it does, it does the trick sometimes. So a lot of the time when you see my skin looking really clear, it's just because I spent a lot of time on my makeup that day. So this is what my skin actually looks like right now. I'll give you guys a little close up. You can see here, I really went to town. And then down here, I've got a lot of shit going on. All up here, hmm, divine. So that's what my skin really looks like. And when you see it on lives and stuff like that, obviously I don't have a filter on on lives and I don't put a filter on this camera, but I mean, it might come with a filter. I'm not sure, I'm not tech savvy. I just wanted to be really honest with you guys and uh, keep you updated on my journey. And I mean, let's hope that in a couple weeks I come back and I'm like, bitch, what's up? But for right now, this is what I'm dealing with. And I hope that if you guys are struggling with acne as well, you know that, you know, we're all in this together, man. And uh, there is hope for us. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have any suggestions beyond what I'm doing here for my fungal acne. Yeah, if you guys have sensitive skin especially, let me know because I feel like a lot of the content that I'm seeing is people with oily skin and I can't follow their regimens because my skin will just like flake off and die. Uh, any products or like the usage of the Nizoral because I feel like that's what I'm struggling with, let me know down in the comments below and uh, I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye. <laughs>